Welcome Aries to your weekly reading. This is for the 9th to the 16th of September. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. Aries, I'm going to start off by looking at the first row as the possible energy beginning the week. The second row is going to be the area you should focus on. The third row are your possible challenges, if any. The fourth row are messages and advice from spirit. And finally, the fifth row is the possible outcome of the week. Aries, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm going to start off over here with death and we are looking at the possible energy beginning the week and I will just get your clarifier. So we want to see now what this death energy is for Aries please. Eight of Pentacles. There is what I am seeing for you here as we start the week of the 9th of September is that you are going to make a very big and significant change in the way you are doing things. Now, Aries, of course, this is going to come through very differently for everybody. Aries, this can be in any area of your life. But at the beginning of this week, Aries, you come to such a big decision that something you have been doing is no longer working for you and you're not going to be doing it again. Now, this could be a habit that you've got, my dear Aries, that you know is not healthy and not doing you or your body any good and you stop doing it from this week. It could be a belief you have. Perhaps you are overanalyzing everything all the time or you're extremely anxious. And you've come to the point where you know you cannot carry on like this and you decide you're going to do things differently. This could be something that affects your day-to-day -day life. It could be something at work. Maybe you are always involved in some kind of an argument with a colleague and it just makes your whole work life miserable and you decide, you know what, I am not even going to engage with that person anymore. Something is coming to a final ending. And once you make that ending, my dear Aries with Eight of Pentacles coming out, I just feel that it feels so good and natural to you that you now continue whatever it was you were doing, but without this particular energy or frequency, you leave it behind and move on. Very positive to see Aries because you are taking care of you. Now let us see what Six of Cups is all about. That is sitting in the area you should focus on. Right, let us see now what Six of Cups is for Aries, please. The Knight of Cups. Aries, this is a very nice energy I'm seeing for you because I see here that somebody that you have known for very many years. My dear Aries, this could be somebody who is in your life or even perhaps somebody you might have lost touch with. But there is somebody that you've got history with that is coming in with some kind of an offer, suggestion, recommendation or gift. And my dear Aries, you're being asked to focus on what this is for you. It could be your significant other giving you the most wonderful gift. This could be a long lost friend coming back into your life and asking you to renew the friendship. This could be, my dear Aries, that somebody you're closely related to asks you to join them in a business venture, perhaps doing something that you both have a passion for maybe catering or event planning or fashion design. There's a common love for something there. But whatever it is, my dearest Aries, somebody's coming in, offering you something, and you're being asked to focus on it. And because it is coming in from somebody that you've got history with, I think this gives this gift 
substance. There's something deeper behind it. You know, Aries, when somebody we have known for many years offers us something, gives us something, recommends something of value to us, it's coming from a point of love. It's coming from a perspective of, I care about you, and this is how I'm showing my love to you. So take some time to consider it, my dear Aries, because you never know where this might lead. Now let us see what High Priestess is all about for you that is sitting in your possible challenges. So we want to see now what High Priestess is for Aries, please. Right, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Now, my dear Aries, with High Priestess and the Ace of Pentacles coming out, under possible challenges, I do not feel that you have any major challenges this week. What we are seeing here, my dear Aries, is an opportunity that is being presented by Spirit. This is the hand of God giving you an opportunity to do something new, to take a new path to explore another area of your life. Now, this opportunity could very well relate to what we saw and spoke about with somebody you have a history with coming in and offering you something. It could very well relate to something we saw here when you stop something that no longer works for you and you move forward in a new direction. Or, oh, my dear Aries, this could be something else completely. Whatever it is, my dear Aries, this week you can trust your intuition to show you the right way for you. Your gut feelings, your hunches, your premonitions, and even messages you might be receiving in your dreams, my dear Aries, are going to be on point. If something feels a little off, my dear Aries, stop, wait, ask for more information, don't move until you feel it is the right thing for you to do. And on the other side, if something feels right, even if you don't have all the information and you haven't done all the research, but something deep inside says, yes, this is for me. This is what I need. This is what I've been waiting for. Trust it. It's that deep, wise oracle, my dear Aries, within you, letting you know this is the right way to go. So let your intuition be your guiding compass when it comes to anything new that is coming up for you this week. It's a big asset to have when we know we can trust and rely on our intuition. Now let us see what Five of Swords is all about for you that is sitting in messages and advice from Spirit. Right, let us see now what the Five of Swords is for Aries, please. The Knight of Swords. Aries, you've got a wonderful message coming through from Spirit. Because Spirit is letting you know that this is the week you, my dear Aries, are going to feel the energy of coming out the other side in quite a few areas where you are going to feel like you are getting on top of things. You're gaining back your momentum. You're gaining back flow into your life. If the last few weeks or few months, my dear Aries, have been very stop-start for you, you know that energy of it's one step forward, two steps back. One day you think, right, things are getting better, things are easing up, and then the next day something happens and you feel, oh my gosh, oh no, here we go again. This energy, Spirit wants you to know, is coming to an end. You are now going to be feeling the energy of things now coming far easier for you. With a Knight of Swords coming in here, Aries, if any of these areas for you were particularly challenging in terms of not being able to get them going, or they were very slow moving, or there was a lot of that stop-start energy we have been talking about. Now, my dear Aries, from this week, things are about to speed up for you. 
people are going to respond to you. They're going to get back to you quickly. If you've been waiting for answers, you'll see that this week you're going to be receiving those answers and you could have been waiting months for these answers, my dear Aries. Energy is moving faster now and it's moving in your favor. The energy of struggle and hardship is leaving you and you're entering into this wonderful flow where things move and happen for you. Very nice message coming through from Spirit. Now let us see what Three of Wands is all about that is sitting in the possible energy ending the week. So we want to see now what the Three of Wands is for Aries, please. And you have got Knight of Wands. Now, my dear Aries, what we are seeing for you by the end of the week is confirming for us, my dear Aries, that all the decisions you are making and the actions that you are going to be taking this week pay off. There is a big payoff coming for you. Three of Wands tells me, my dear Aries, by the end of this week, you're going to actually see things starting to come in starting to manifest and come into fruition. And when I say things, my dear Aries, these are things that are of importance to you, things that you have been working on, things that you've had to make decisions about, and plans you put into action. You're going to see actual things happen for you. Aries, I will just go back to that past example. If Six of Cups is that old friend coming back in, wanting to reignite your friendship, we see that if you say yes, by the end of this week, you might even get together, talk about old times, and it'll feel like no time has passed between you, even though you might not have seen each other for 30 or 40 years. If this was that family member who has asked you to go into business together, we see by the end of this week, you and this family member are sitting down, you're brainstorming, you've got plans, you've got ideas, and there's a lot of high energy and excitement. And with Knight of Wands coming in here, Aries, this is going to be such a good and exciting time for you the end of the week, because I see you fully immersed in what this is for you. So as I mentioned, it's going to be so personal to you. So whether it is this energy that you're ending off something and you feel so good now about the decision you have taken, or whether it is somebody from the past coming in and you now accepting it and things are opening up in new and exciting ways, or whether it is just the relief here of energy now flowing for you and things happening for you without an enormous struggle, whatever it is for you, my dearest Aries, Knight of Wands tells me, your energy is high, you are inspired, you are motivated, and you're putting this all into play by the end of the week. Expect this to be a very full, busy, and action-packed week for you, my dear Aries. Let's go ahead now and get a message from your guides for the week. So we just want to see now what Aries guides would like to share with them, please. Rest, number 24, Holy Spirit. Aries, the number 24 is your lucky number this week. Any combination or variation of the numbers 2 and 4, please consider very auspicious. Now, Aries, as I just mentioned, this is going to be a very busy and action-packed week. And so we have Holy Spirit coming in and asking you, my dear Aries, that during this very busy and exciting week, take time to rest. Take time for yourself, my dear Aries. We all find different ways to relax and to rest. So whether it's reading a book, watching a movie, going for a walk, spending time with family or with your fur babies, whatever it is, find time to rest, my dear Aries. And my dear Aries, 
whenever you see a white bird this week, this is Holy Spirit coming in and saying, Aries, are you looking after yourself? Are you taking enough time to rest? There's a lot going on. You need to look after you. So that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I am sending you all so much love.